sleek, swift, and silhouetted against the backdrop of the Golden Gate. She's the most sensuous image imaginable on San Francisco Bay. Slicing through the water, she'll take your breath away, while mere mortal men scramble to harness her power and gain what every sailor craves, what every sailor covets, speed. Speed that rockets through your bones and fills your lungs with life. She's also home to this country's very best sailor, America's Cup Oracle Team USA tactician, and the pride of San Rafael, John Kostecki. The AC-72 is um, incredibly fast, um, incredibly physical, and you know challenging to sail, and uh, especially here on San Francisco Bay with the winds that we have. America's Cup racing is remarkably fast and can be frighteningly dangerous. Laughing through the water doing 40 knots on a 72-foot catamaran can be treacherous. Kostecki is a former Olympian, a winner of the Volvo Around the World Race, a two-time Rolex Yachtsman of the Year award winner, and now a six-time America's Cup sailor. But he first got his start on the water at the Richmond Yacht Club when he was still a toddler. Well, I was two and a half when my parents first took me along on, on, on the boat, and um, I really enjoyed it. My uh, parents actually named the Lido 14 kind of after what I would say, which was more and more. John's passion for sailing has never wavered, and when he was a kid, sailing and racing was the sport that consumed him. My parents got me involved in uh, Richmond Yacht Club Junior Program, and uh, that was on the weekends. And when, uh, in the summertime when that wasn't happening, um, I would go out and race with my dad on, on larger boats with his friends and whatnot. And I, I just really, really enjoyed it. And it was just during the week, what I looked forward to was sailing on the weekends with my father. Kostecki's career took a significant jump when he won the silver medal at the 1988 Summer Olympics in South Korea. I would say stepping stone in my career very intense um, training um, and focus on winning an Olympic medal. And it started about five years out. Um, so in 83, I started in Olympic sailing and um, ended up competing in the 84 Olympic trials. And with the full intent of, you know, doing an Olympic campaign for 1988. 1988 proved to be a hallmark year for Kostecki. After the Olympics and winning several world titles, he was honored as the Rolex Yachtsman of the Year. I was fortunate to you know, win that honor in uh, 1988 after winning uh, two world championships and one design classes and then uh, also uh, winning the uh, silver medal in the Olympics. And so, you know, it, it was a great honor and you know, a great award to receive. Kostecki continued to add to his reputation as one of the world's elite sailors when he captured the 2001-2002 Volvo Around the World race. Skippering the German back entry Ilbruck Challenge, Kostecki led the team to an overwhelming victory in what is considered to be the world's most difficult and toughest endurance sailing race. The event took nine months, and after the win, John was honored for the second time as the Yachtsman of the Year. Emotionally, I have never been in a sailboat race or been in any other life situations worth incredible highs and incredible lows. And so I would say that's probably the, the takeaway from, from that race that I'll never forget. Kostecki's role on the AC-72 is a tactician working alongside Australian helmsman Jimmy Spithill. It's sort of like a pitcher and catcher in baseball as they try to find the quickest way around the course. Jimmy's a, a great sailor. Obviously, I have a lot of respect for his abilities as a helmsman, but also he's a, he's a great tactician on his own. So um, at times, you know, if I'm a little bit off, sometimes he can pick up the slack, and uh, times if he's a little off, I can pick up the slack. So we have a great relationship. Kostecki helped to win back the America's Cup in 2010. This time around, he finds himself in the role as the defender. And if there's an advantage for the American boat, it comes from the experience of a guy that grew up selling the tricky currents and winds of San Francisco Bay. It's a dream come true, really, for me to have the America's Cup on San Francisco Bay where I, you know, grew up and learned how to sail. 
For over 150 years, sailors have been battling it out to capture a silver chalice known as the America's Cup. This time around, men from Lisbon to London and from Paris to Perth are set to square off on San Francisco Bay. And the pride of San Rafael, fueled by an inner fire, will do his best to hang on to sailing's greatest prize.